During this lesson, we are going to work on time. Question 1. Complete for any clock or watch. The short hand is called the hour hand, as we see from the diagram. The short hand tells us what hour it is. B. The long hand is called the minute hand. Here is the long hand and it tells us how many minutes past the hour it is. C. There are 60 minutes in an hour. There are 60 seconds in a minute. And there are 24 hours in a day. Pause this video to complete question 1 by yourself. When you are done, press play for question 2. Let's continue. As the minute hand moves around the clock, we tell the time as follows. When the minute hand is on the 12, it means that it is on the hour. So for instance, this would be 9 o'clock. If the minute hand is on the 1, it means that it is 5 minutes past 9. If it's on the 2, it means 10 minutes past 9. If it is on the 3, it means 15 minutes past 9. If it's on the 4, it means 20 minutes past the hour. If it's on the 5, 25 minutes past the hour. And when it gets to the 6, it means that it is half past the hour or 30 minutes past the hour. Let's look at question 3. Use the clock face to answer the following questions. When the minute hand is on the 2, it shows 10 minutes past the hour. When the minute hand is on the 3, so it would be over there, it shows 15 minutes past the hour. Let's jump to D. When it is on the 5, so it would be there, it shows 25 minutes past the hour. Pause this video to complete question 3. Question 4. As the minute hand moves around the clock, we tell the time as follows. We have done up until half past the hour, or 30 minutes past the hour. Now, if the minute hand is on the 7, it means that it is 35 minutes past the hour, or it is going to be 25 minutes until the next hour. If it is on the 8, it means 40 minutes past the hour, or 20 minutes until the next hour. If it is on the 9, it means 45 minutes past the hour, or 15 minutes to the next hour. If it is on the 10, it means 50 minutes past the hour or 10 minutes to the next hour. On the 11, it means 55 minutes past the hour or 5 little minutes to the next hour. And when it is back on the 12, it means that it is on the following hour. Let's look at question 5. When the minute hand is on the 7, it shows 35 minutes past the hour or 25 minutes before the next hour. When it is on the 8, it shows 40 minutes past the hour or 20 minutes before the next hour. Pause this video to complete question 5. Question 6. 
Write down the times shown on each of the following clocks. A. It is 3 o'clock. The shorthand is on the 3. For B, the hour hand is still on the 3. The minute hand has moved to the 1. So it is now 5 minutes past 3. For C, the hour hand is still on the 3. The minute hand is now on the 5, so it is 25 minutes past 3. Pause this video to complete question 6 by yourself. Question 7. Write down the time shown on each of the following clocks. A. It is 4 o'clock. For B. The hour hand is still towards the 4. And now it is 30 minutes past 4. For C, now it is 35 minutes past 4. Or it is 25 minutes before 5 o'clock. Pause this video to complete question 7. Question 8. Write down the time shown on each of the following clocks. For A, the hour hand is on the 9 and the minute hand is on the 12, so it is exactly 9 o'clock. For B, the minute hand is now on the 4, so it is 20 minutes past 9. For C, the minute hand is now on the 7 and the hour hand is in between the 9 and the 10, so it is 35 minutes past 9 or we can see in 25 minutes time it is going to be 10 o'clock so it is 25 minutes before 10. Pause this video to complete question 8. Worksheet 3. There are 24 hours in a day but only 12 hours on the clock face. We use AM to show morning times between 12 midnight and 12 noon. So, 12 o'clock midnight we write as 12 AM. The new day has just started. From 1 AM to 6 AM you are sleeping in bed. At 7 a.m. it's morning and you are having breakfast. From 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. you are at school. And 12 o'clock midday it is lunchtime at school. This is 12 p.m. because afternoon time has started. Let's look at question 1. Eight AM means eight o'clock in the morning. Let's look at C. Twelve AM means twelve o'clock midnight or twelve o'clock noon. AM means morning time, so it is twelve o'clock midnight. The new day has just started. Pause this video to complete question one. Let's continue. Question 2. Write down the time shown on each of the following clocks in 12 hour time. Remember we need to use AM for morning times. We always write the hour first then how many minutes past the hour it is. For A the clock is showing a morning time and it is 4 o'clock, so we write 4 a.m. B, it is now 5 minutes past 4, so we write 4 for the hour, dot, 0, 5 for 5 past, and a.m. for morning. For C, now it is 15 minutes past 4, so we write 4, dot, 15, 
Pause this video to complete question 2. Question 3. Write down the time shown on each of the following clocks in 12 hour time. Remember we need to use our AM for morning times. Again, we always write the hour first and then how many minutes past the hour it is. For A, it's half past 3 in the morning. So we write 3.30 a.m. B. Now again, we're looking at past 3 o'clock. So it's in between 3 and 4 here. It's not yet 4 o'clock. And it's now 35 minutes past 3. So we write 3.35 a.m. because it is morning. For C. Now... It is on the 8, so it means that it is 40 minutes past 3. So we write 3.40 a.m. Pause, pause this video to complete question D, E and F by yourself. Press play for question G. Let's continue. G. Our hour hand is in between the 1 and the 2. It's almost at the 2 o'clock. The minute hand is on the 9, so that means that it is 45 minutes past 1. We always write time as how many minutes past the hour it is. It is not yet 2 o'clock, so we do not write 2. The correct answer is 1 45 a.m. because it is morning time. For H, it is 50 minutes past 1. So we write 1.50 a.m. For I, it is 55 minutes past 1. We don't write 2 because it is not 2 o'clock yet. So it's 1.55 a.m. Pause this video to complete the rest of this question. Worksheet 4. There are 24 hours in a day, but only 12 hours on the clock face. We use PM to show afternoon or night times from 12 o'clock midday to 12 o'clock midnight. At 12 p.m. it is midday and you are having lunch. From 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. you are at school or doing homework at home. At 8 p.m. it is now dark and you are getting ready for bed. From, 12, from 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. you are sleeping in bed. At 12 a.m. you are still sleeping in bed. It is midnight, but it is a.m. because the new day has started. Let's look at question 1. 1 p.m. means 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Sorry, there is a mistake. 10 p.m. means 10 o'clock in the evening. Pause this video to complete question 1 by yourself. Question 2. Write down the times on each of the following clocks. For A, it's now afternoon. It is 4 o'clock, so it's 4 p.m. B, afternoon. It's 10 minutes past 4, so we write 4.10 p.m. For C, the minute hand is on the 5, so it's 4.25 p.m. because it is afternoon. Pause this video to complete question 2. Question 3, we must write down the time shown on each of the clocks. For A, it's half past 9, so we write 9.30 it's in the evening, so p.m. For B, now it's 35 minutes past 9, 
So it's 9.35 p.m. because it is the evening. And now it is 40 minutes past 9. It's not yet 10 o'clock, so we don't write 10 as the hour. It's 9.40 p.m. Pause this video to complete question D, E and F by yourself. Let's continue. Question G. It is 45 minutes past 1 in the afternoon, so it's 1.45 p.m. Next question, H. Now it is 50 minutes past 1, so it's 1.50 p.m. because it's afternoon. And the last question, it is 55 minutes past 1 in the afternoon. So it's 1.55 p.m. It is not yet 2 o'clock, so we do not write down 2. Pause this video to complete this page. Worksheet 5. Writing time from 12 hour clocks using a.m. and p.m. Remember morning times are a.m. and afternoon or evening times are p.m. Pause this video to complete this worksheet.